My name is Andrew Bibbler. I'm the owner of the Wool Exchange. I uh, graduated class of 98 from Lancaster. Um, short story about me is graduated from Lancaster, uh, opened my own construction business right out of high school, ran out for quite a few years, decided that it wasn't for me, um, decided to get back into other types of work like heavy equipment and things like that. Worked it for 10 years, hated it, uh, decided that uh, I knew there was a better option out there for me and I've always had a kind of natch for Nick for cutting hair, helping guys out, lining people up, making everybody look right. And so I decided to go to barber school for it. And uh, I've been a barber for about 13 years now. And uh, came into Lancaster after being out of town for about 15 years and decided that Lancaster really needed a real old school barber shop for the guys. And uh, during that time frame, uh, business has become very successful due to the fact that we give everybody what they want and try to do the best job we can. What's up, it's Corey Hartliff, the Ink Barber 89. You can follow me on IG. Um, I'm originally from Whitehall. Um, came out to Lancaster to follow my barbering career. I've been in the United States Army for about 10 years now. Now I'm in the reserves. Um, following high school, uh, sort of wanted to go and do my own thing. I always wanted to be a barber though. Um, Basically, in life, you gotta follow your dream, even though some people may think that it's way above and beyond. But to me, I always feel like, why can't you do something? Um, now I'm working down here at the Wool Exchange Barbershop. Um, it's one of the predominant shops here in the state of Ohio. Obviously, I'm from Columbus. The other barber, Jamie, he's down from Columbus. Um, uh, Andrew Bibbler, who's the owner of the shop, he started the shop, he's actually from Lancaster. So you got, you know, three different barbers from three different walks of life. And that's sometimes what you'll you'll see in life, I guess, is different walks of life from, you know, people that you work with or people that you involve yourself with. Um, just always stay motivated. Uh, find, find something in your life that you want to do. And whether it be a passion, if you find something that you love and you start working, you'll actually never work a day in your life. Hey, what's up? It's Corey. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't, you can't. No, you can't do that. You can't put on All right, hey, can you just keep going and then you edit it? All right, cool.